Korean 3 Lesson 4 Lecture 교통편은 뭐가 좋을까요? What would be the best transportation? 을까 or 니을까 하다 um, You are thinking of doing one thing or another Tentative plan for the future um, If it is um, consonant ending verb 을까 하다 Otherwise, 니을까 하다, verb uh, base, uh, ending in 니을 already, you just attach 까 하다. 하다 can be replaced with other verbs, such as 생각하다, I'm thinking about it, 고민하다, worrying about it. So all of the, um, you know, expressions that we have learned so far, um, here's the spectrum from the weakest to the strongest in terms of um, commitment, resolution. Ulkahada, you're kind of um, not firm. You're you're wondering. You're thinking about it. Ulkoeo is pretty firm. Like you're planning on it. Aoyo, very strong. Like the plan has been set. Uleo, at least the um. The desire and the will is intent is very strong. 여름에 한국에 갈까 해요. I'm considering going to uh, Korea in the summer. 여름에 한국에 갈 거예요. Um, most likely, okay. Um, you know, you are planning. 여름에 한국에 가요. Very definite. It's um, decided. I'm going to Korea in the summer. 여름에 한국에 갈래요. The intention is strong. Like, I'm going to go to Korea. It's very assertive. Um, but, like, you know, 가요 is, is uh, very strong, too. Like, I, I have everything down. I have all the, the plans to go with it. When you're just um, wondering about something, um, 무슨 음악을 들을까 생각해요. You're not sure which music to, what kind of music to listen to yet. Um, thinking about the kind of music you want to listen to. 어떤 옷을 입을까 해요. Wondering about what kind of clothes to wear. Um, 주말에 친구들하고 모일까 해요. Uh, wondering if you should get together with your friends over the weekend. 선배를 도와 줄까 해요. Okay, wondering whether you're going to um, help your older, um, you know, upperclassmen. Okay, uh, I think this is made into a drama. 선배 그 립스틱 바르지 마요. Okay, so telling your son, like, don't wear that lipstick, okay? 여친 생일에 케이크를 만들까 해요. Not committed. <laughs> Wondering whether you're going to make cake for your girlfriend's uh, birthday. So 만들다, so just 까. You know, 니을 is already attached in there. So just attach 까 해요. 한국에서... 살까 해요. Very flaky, you guys. You don't make um, decisions, uh, you know, like wondering if I should live in this place or that place. Okay. 비 오는데 나가지 말까 해요. Yeah, you're thinking about not going out because uh, since it's raining. 말다 also deal ending. So 말까 해요. 주말에 그냥 텔레비전. 볼까 해요. Wondering if you should just watch TV over the weekend. Thinking about that. 저녁에 친구를 초대할까 해요. Thinking about um, inviting your friends over for dinner. 어디 앉을까 해요. Okay. Wonder, wondering where you should pick your seats. Where should you sit down? Um, 점심에, 점심에 누구하고 점심을 먹을까 해요. Wondering who you should have lunch with, okay? Um, you know, at, at lunch, you're wondering who you're going to eat lunch with. Um, 어느 문을 
See, you don't know which one. They're all identical and you don't know what's behind it. So you're wondering, you're thinking about um, which door to open. During which door you will open. Talk about your friend. Uh, what is it? Plans. Um, your uh, plans for vacation. 방학객, 졸업객, 취직객, um, you know, your graduation plans, um, you know, employment plans, uh, job plans, um, how you're going to get work, uh, 결혼 계획, wedding plans, okay? Um, talk about, you know, you wonder about going somewhere for your vacation, what to do after graduation, um, you know, where you want to work, um, you know, for your job, your profession, and where, you know, what kind of cake you want, what kind of ring, what kind of party venue you want for your wedding, okay? 을까 uh, if it's a verb ending in consonant, vowel ending, 니을까 if it already ends in a deal, just deal, deal, not deal in some other um, final consonant, just deal by itself, then it's irregular, so you that attach ka heo. Um, we kind of already know this um, form from non-modification in Korean 7. Um, you have non-modification and cut means thing that is doing something or thing that is this way or that way, okay? You cannot use cut, which means thing by itself, that thing, okay? Um, or the act of doing something, the condition of being this way or that, okay? Um, people ask often, well, uh, what is the difference between cut and call? And it's cut is in writing, call when we are often speaking. Okay, um, and this is how you turn verb or adjective into a noun. 읽는 것. Um, the thing that you are reading or uh, the condition or the act of reading. It can be either. Okay, uh, 읽는 것을 좋아해요. I like um, the act of reading. Okay, 읽는 것을 찾아요. Okay, uh, 읽을 것을 찾아요. You're looking for things to read. Okay, 예쁜 것. Uh, there are a lot of pretty stuff at the store, cute stuff at the store. So this is a good review of non-modification. Um, verbs and adjectives for verbs, uh, if it ends in a consonant or vowel, doesn't matter. You put nun to the base or the stem and cut or call when you're speaking. Um, and uh, adjective, you put un or nian, okay, uh, when you um, have a consonant verb, un, otherwise nian. Um, so when the call is met with nun, you contract that into con. So ingnen konen can become ingnen kon. Instead of 예쁜 거는, you can contract it to 예쁜 건. Same thing with subject marker. Instead of 읽는 것이 or 읽는 uh, 거가, you can say 읽는 게, 예쁜 게. Okay? And if it is object marker, instead of 읽는 것을, okay, or 읽는 것이, uh, excuse me, 읽는 거를 or um, 읽는 거를, you could just contract it to 읽는 걸, okay? Um, if it's in the past for verbs, um, you put 은 if the base ends in consonant, 니은 if it is a uh, vowel. Again, just like non-modification, it's a rule for the adjective in the present tense. If you apply that to verb, then it becomes past of the verb, okay? For future, for ver uh, both verbs and adjective, if the base is consonant ending, you put ul, otherwise dil, okay? Um, so when you say 사는 것, uh, 
it doesn't mean it, it can have two contexts, you guys. Um, it, I'll give you another example. Um, for example, um, 먹는 것, 먹는 것 could mean uh, the thing that you eat, the stuff that you eat, or it could be the act of eating. Okay. Um, likewise, with 사는 것, it could mean um, the act of buying um, or the thing that I'm buying. Okay. Um, so do look for the context. Uh, you can just say, uh, for example, 지금, um, 지금 그거, uh, 사는 것이에요. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm buying that right now. Uh, that's something I'm buying right now. Or you can say, 저는, um, 저는 화장품 사는 것을 좋아해요. I like buying makeup. Okay, the act of buying makeup. So let's make these verbs and adjectives into um, the act of, into nouns, the act of doing something or being something or the thing that you do, okay? 노래하는 것. The act of singing. Dancing. 춤을 추는 것. The act of listening to music. Listening to music. 음악 듣는 것. Tigur irregular. Um, it doesn't change into RL in this case. You just put 는 and 거 or 것. Um, the act of uh, riding ski. Skiing is 스키 타는 것. Um, verbs very easy. Just put nun whether um the stem or the base ends in consonant or vowel. Kudalum um tennisitter chinangot thinking sengakanangot. So it can be either the act of thinking or what I'm thinking about, the thing that I'm thinking about. Um, 등산 가는 것, going hiking, 걸어가는 것, the act of walking. So um, when you ask about their uh, people about their uh, favorite uh, activities, you ask, 뭐 하는 걸 좋아해요? What do you like doing? Steve says, 아이스크림 먹는 것을 걸을 걸 좋아해요. Okay. When you're writing, you put 시옷, so 것을. Uh, when he's talking, 걸을. And when you contract it, 걸. Okay. 민지하고 마이클은 춤추는 것을, 춤추는 거를, 춤추는 걸 좋아해요. Okay. When you're writing, you put 것을. When you're speaking, 걸을 올 걸. 마크는, what does he like, you guys? 음악? 듣는 것을, 듣는 거를, 듣는 걸 좋아해요. 샌디는 여행, 하는 것을, 걸을, 걸 좋아해요. 린다는, what is movie? 영화, 보는 것을, 영화, 보는 거를, or 영화 보는 걸 좋아해요. 마이클은, what is bicycle? 자전거 타는 것을 타는 거를 타는 걸 좋아해요. 셀리, 셀리는 뭐 하는 걸 좋아해요? 케이크 케이크를 먹는 것을 먹는 거를 먹는 걸 좋아해요. 해리는 케이크 만드는 것을 만드는 거를 만드는 걸 좋아해요. She likes eating act of eating the cake. He likes uh, the act of making the cake. 남자친구 뭐 하는 걸 싫어해요? What do you not like doing? 남자친구는 쇼핑하는 것을 싫어해요. 여자친구는 스포츠 보는 것을 스포츠 보는 거를 스포츠 보는 걸 싫어해요. Um, the girlfriend does not like watching sports. 오빠는 뭐 하는 걸 싫어해요? He wrote over and over again. 숙제하는 것을 싫어해요. 숙제하는 거를 걸 싫어해요. 여동생은 
Bart's uh, younger sister, Lisa, she doesn't like eating meat. James he doesn't like talking, you guys. 말 많이 하는 것을 걸을 걸 싫어해요. Doesn't like talking a lot. Um, Youngmin은 달리는 것을 걸을 걸 싫어해요. She doesn't like running. 뭐 하는 걸 싫어하세요? Asking questions to older people, what they do not like. 어머니는 mom does not like to do the laundry, you guys. 빨래 하시는 것을 걸을 걸 싫어하세요. Honorific, you guys. So it becomes uh, 시는, okay? Um, either 시는 or 의시는 if the um, stem or the base ends in consonant, okay? 아버지는, he doesn't like waiting. 기다리시는 것을 걸을 걸 싫어하세요, okay? So for honorific is 의시는 for uh, consonant ending uh, verb, otherwise 시는. Adjective, present tense, uh, 은, 니은, 거, 건, 개, 걸, okay? Um, 건 would be 거 or 것 with um, topic marker, 개 is Cut or call with e or ka. Call is cut or call with ul or r, the object marker. 오늘 점심 뭐 먹을까요? What shall we eat for lunch? Something delicious. 맛있는 걸 먹어요. 맛있는 거 or 맛있는 거. Uh, 거를 or 걸 먹어요. 메뉴에 국수 요리 뭐가 있어요? Um, you know, what's on the menu for noodle dishes? 다양한 게 있어요. There are various things, okay? There are many things. There are various uh, dishes. 다양한 것이 거가 있어요 is contracted to 게 있어요. Uh, you're asking for something that is not spicy. 안 매운 것 있어요? 저는 매운 것잘못 먹어요. Okay? Uh, 매운 거, 건, or 개. 매운 거, 건, 걸. Uh, do you have something not spicy? I cannot eat um, spicy things uh, well. Okay? 네, 크림 소스로 만든 게 있어요. There's something with a cream sauce. So, um, is it okay if I eat the most expensive thing? <laughs> um, oh, it's not a question. You, it's okay if you eat the most expensive thing. Uh, you know anything on the menu. 오늘은 제가 살게요. 오늘 제일 제일 비싼 거 먹어도 돼요. 제, 비, 제일 비싼 거 먹어도 돼요. 제일 비싼 거를 먹어도 돼요. 큰거 um, 먹을 거예요. So is it? So it's okay. I'll buy today. 정말요? 제일 큰 거를 먹을 거예요. I'm gonna eat the biggest dish. Okay. Um, so it's okay if you put 비싼 거, and that means you're just dropping the object marker um, because these are simple exchanges. I'm going to eat the most you know, expensive one. Um, they're very simple answers. Um, you know, Without the particles, it's pretty obvious what you're talking about. But if you decide to include the particle, you can say 걸. 디저트는 뭐 먹을까요? 저는 아주 this is a uh, deal irregular. So I'm gonna eat something very sweet. 저는 아주 단거 먹을래요. Or 단 걸로 먹을래요. Um, I'm gonna have as dessert something very sweet. Okay. Or for dessert, 커피는 안 드세요? You're not gonna have coffee. 아니요. 따뜻. I don't like hot things. 따뜻한 거. 따뜻한 걸안 좋아해요. 시원한 거. 왜 시원한 걸 마실래요? Okay. I don't like hot, warm things. I'm gonna drink something cool. 
Unica um, is a clause for kuronika, like when I did this. Okay, it gives reason for um, justification uh, when you are giving suggestions, advice, uh, command. Okay. Um, and it's also used for giving excuse or explanation, um, which makes it seem more convincing or persuasive. If the uh, if it's a verb, you uh, put unica or nika. If it ends, if the verb ends in a consonant, unica. Otherwise, just nika. Uh, adjective, same pattern. If it ends in a consonant, unica. Otherwise, ka. And if it is copula ida, inika or nika. If the word noun ends in consonant, inika, otherwise just nika. And for pass, at osunika. And for copula, e osunika for consonant ending, you insert the e, otherwise just yotsunika, since somebody was something. For future, uh, ul or diul konika. If it ends in a consonant for both verb and adjective, ul konika, otherwise there's going to be little exceptions here there, especially with dear irregular, pub irregular, um, and tigur irregular, and uh, some more, uh, a few more. For copula, it's both going to be ilconica, whether the noun ends in consonant or vowel. And in speech, uh, if it's a consonant um, vowel ending word, you could just put insert lil underneath. Chef일 거니까 or chef일 거니까 in speech. Um, it's also for temporal sequence. There's no uh, since, there's no um, explanation, um, just natural flow. Uh, since it's raining, uh, something, a thought comes up. Okay, I remember something. 비 오니까 추워졌어요. Since uh, it's raining, it became cold. Okay, it's a uh, temporal. Um, it's not a big con contrast or um, you know or explanation persuasion. These are some examples of temp. Um, you know temporal. Uh, you know where it's you're not trying to give a justification. Um, 제 이름을 불러서 가니까 상품을 주더라고요. Um, they called my name, so when I went, they gave me a prize, okay? So like it's more like when uh, this happened, this other thing happened. 시계를 보니까 벌써 12시더라고요. So um, I'm telling you when I looked at the clock, it was already 12. Okay, when I looked at the uh, clock, it was already 12. Okay. 친구한테 전화 하니까 안 받아요. You happen to be calling your friend and uh, they don't pick up. When I did that, he or she doesn't pick up. 초인종을 누르니까 띵동 소리가 나요. Yeah, we, um, we actually, <laughs> that's still... Uh, American bell sound, ding dong. We say ding dong. <laughs> we tensify the sound, ding dong. So we got nail. Okay, everything is tensified in Korean. It's not ding dong. It's ding dong. That's Korean bell sound. Okay. Uh, when I press the um, the uh doorbell, um, you know the sound came out. It sounded. 자동 발매기에 돈을 넣으니까 표가 나오네요. So when you put the money inside the um the vending machine for uh vending machine for tickets, it, it's not um 판매기 but 발매기. It's a um what is it um machine for selling tickets specifically, not other things. When I put the money in there, uh, the ticket came out. 집에 들어가니까 부모님이 기다리고 계셨어요. When I went inside home, um, you know, when I entered home, the parents were waiting for me. Okay, that's what you saw. They were worried too sick about you. They were worried to death about you. 
uh, 갑자기 비가 오니까 놀랐어요. When um, the rain uh, poured suddenly, everybody was uh, surprised. Now um, you, you have non-temporal expressions like, you know, um, because uh, the rain came, uh, it poured suddenly, I was surprised. Because or since it's raining, 비가 오니까, 오늘은 나가지 말자. So let's not go out. Okay. 지금 바쁘니까 나중에 연락하자. Since I'm busy right now, let's let's talk later. Let's get in touch later. Um, 날씨가 추워지니까. See, um, you can have adjective into 지다 um, to say it becomes. That's how you make uh, adjectives into a verb. Um, you know. Since the weather has become cold, uh, I want to eat something warm. Okay. Since weather has become cold, I want to eat something warm. 친구하고 이야기를 하니까 스트레스가 풀리던데요. I'm telling you, uh, since I talk with my friend, um, you know, my stress uh, is relieved. Okay. I'm telling you that's um, the stress level went down. 제가 박물관 얘기하니까 남자친구가 입장권을 샀어요. So when or since I talked about uh, the museum, uh, my boyfriend got the uh, ticket, the entrance ticket. 지금 피곤하니까 나중에 설거지할 거예요. Since I'm tired right now, I'm going to do the dishes later. Poor baby. Okay. Um, since or because I'm tired, I'm going to do this later. 형, 키가 더 크니까 농구 얘기했어요. Since um, the older brother's uh, height is taller, um, he, since he's taller, uh, he won at basketball. Okay. So the person who's speaking is male or female? male, right? Since they're talking about their older brother. 내일 남자친구 생일 since it's your boyfriend's birthday tomorrow 이니까 오늘 선물을 사야 해요. So that's why you need to buy the present today. 컴퓨터가 고장나서 못 쓰니까 아, 숙제를 손으로 써서 내요. Since um, the computer is out of order um, so you can't use it so please uh, write out the homework and submit it. How's the high hill, you guys? High hill is 불편하니까 운동화 가져가세요. Okay, since high hill is um, uncomfortable, please take the um, the sneakers, okay, sports shoes. Yak. Th these are uh, past, I'm sorry. Yeah. High heat is 불편할 거니까, since it will be uncomfortable, okay? Maybe advice for a trip. Yak, since um, you already taken the medication, it will be all right. 먹었으니까 괜찮아질 거예요. It will be all right. So past or future. 손님들 초대. Since you already invited the people, think about what you're going to serve. Uh, 초대했으니까 메뉴 뭐 할까 생각해요. I'm wondering about um, what to do for the menu. 내일, so it's tomorrow, future. 내일 눈이 올 거니까, since it's going to uh, snow tomorrow, 따뜻하게 옷 입으세요. Advice, so dress warmly. So the last uh, lesson, we learned this expression, 을줄... Alda that, which is to uh, make um, talking about presumptions, um, assumptions, right? That you had mistakenly thought that it is this way, or I didn't know it was that way. Okay, the same technical grammar can be used to say you know uh, how to do something. Okay, um, and this is only for present tense to. Um, to express that you know how to do something. 운전을 할줄 몰라요. I don't know how to drive. 근데 자전거는 탈줄 알아요. But then you know how to 
um, ride the bicycle. Okay. Um, we also have this expression, 을수 있다, 없다, um, to uh, express potential, but it's also a possibility um, that you are able to do something or unable to do something, okay? But it also expresses that is possible or not possible, okay? 을줄 알다, 모르다 is only for knowing how to do something, okay? 있을 수 없는 일이야. It means it's something, yeah, impossible. It's a, it's, it's something that it's impossible. Okay, something happened. Um, famous Margaret Atwood's um novel, The Edible Woman. Uh, 먹을 수 있는 여자. Okay, um, but it has two contexts in Korean when you translate it that way. A woman who can who is able to eat or um, woman who can be consumed, okay? Um, 을줄 알다 모르다, to express what you are able to do or not. 냉면을 만들 줄 알아요. Yeah, you know how to make cold noodles. 그런데 국수가 없어서 만들 수 없어요, see? But then you don't have the noodles, so that's why it's impossible for you to make the uh, dish. 스키 탈줄 알아요. Okay, I know how to ski. 그런데 눈이 안 와서 스키를 못 타요. 탈수 없어요. Okay, I can't ski or I'm not able to ski. It's impossible for me to uh, ski. Why? Because it's not snowing. It has nothing to do with uh, your skills. Um, 학교에서 배워서 한국어를 잘할 줄 알아요. Because I learned in school, I know how to speak Korean well. Okay. 남자친구가 한국 사람이라서 한국어를 할줄 알아요. Because my boyfriend is Korean, I'm able to speak Korean. I know how to speak Korean. Um, so 수 있다 can be both knowing how to do something, but also possibility. Uh, 잘 못하지만 피아노 칠줄 알아요. Or 피아노 칠수 있어요. Like you, you might not be good at it, but then uh, I know how to uh, play the piano. Um, 어떻게 할줄 모르겠어요. Often when you are at, you know, you you have no idea what to do about a situation. You're at a loss. Uh, this is how you express. I just don't know what to do about the situation. 어떻게 할줄 모르겠어요. 선배를 좋아하는데 I like my um 선배, right? Um upperclassman, but I don't know how to tell him her or her, okay? You know how to sing in Korean. 한국어로 노래할 줄 알아요? 올수 있어요. 아, 기타를 um, 칠줄 알아요. You know how to play the guitar. 아, 올칠수 있어요. 그런데 기타 치기를 싫어해요. But then you don't like uh, playing the guitar. You can say 그런데 기타 치는 것을 싫어해요. The last grammar we just learned uh, of um, putting the act of something into uh, doing something into a noun, the act of playing the guitar. So it can be either 그런데 기타 치기를 싫어해요 or 기타 치는 것을 걸 싫어해요. So you know how to uh, make dresses, clothes. 저는 옷을 만들 줄 알아요. If it is a real ending, just 줄 알아요. Uh, the baby knows how to read. 아기는, no, actually doesn't. It's a pet, uh, petting, uh, you know, book. So the baby does not know how to read. 아기는 책을 읽을 줄 몰라요. Okay, the baby doesn't know how to read. Or you could say, 아기는 책을 읽을 수 없어요. Baby is not able to read. It's impossible for the baby to read. Um, 시간은 있어요. You have time. 그런데 책이 없어서 숙제를, which would it be, you guys? 할수 없어요 or 줄 몰라요? 할수 없어요. It's not that you don't know how to do the homework, but it's impossible for you to do the homework because you don't have the book. 
지금 안경이 없어서 칠판을 because you don't have your glasses 볼수 없어요 or 볼줄 몰라요. 볼수 없어요. It's impossible for you to uh, look at the, the, the chalkboard. Um, you cannot say 볼줄 몰라요. You don't know how to look at something. It's not that you don't know how to observe things. It's impossible for you because you don't have the glasses you have for eyesight. Um, 처음 김밥 먹어서 어떻게 uh, 먹을 수 있어요 or 먹을 줄 몰라요? Which one would it be? Because you're eating kimbap for the first time. You don't know how to eat it, right? Uh, it's not that it's impossible. Uh, you don't know how to eat it. Okay. 알레르기가 있어서 생선을 You're allergic to fish because I have an allergy. 먹을 수 없어요. It's impossible for me to eat the fish. I can't um, eat the fish. It's not that you don't know how to eat a fish. You can't because you have allergy. Um, often we use this expression. 수자는 수자는 마크 마음을 알수 없어요 or 알줄 몰라요. It's impossible to know somebody's heart or or mind what they're thinking. It's you know it's a wrong expression to say. Susanan Makamamer Aljul Molayo. She doesn't know um how to know his heart. No, uh, nobody knows what they're thinking, right? I su opsa, it's a possibility. So this is very from a uh, very famous um webtoon that turned into um a K drama. It's in it, 같은 사람. They're the same person. You but then you comment 같은 사람일 수 없어. It's impossible they're the same person. Uh again, that expression when you say like you don't know what to do about it. Okay. 어떻게 you you know Mr. Banana consoles uh Mrs. Milk. 어떻게 할수 없어요. There's nothing we can do about it. There's nothing you can do about it. Um, yeah, it's not that you don't know how to do something, but it's just impossible to do anything in this situation. 음악 전공이에요. Your music major. 그래서 음악을, which would it be, you guys? 쓸수 있어요 or 쓸줄 알아요. Which one? This is tricky. It can be both actually, okay? Um, because I, I'm i music major, so I'm I'm able to uh, write music. Um, either is fine, okay? Either. Just that it, the subtle difference is I'm able to, and then the second one says, uh, I know, like I have the skill to do that, okay? It's more specific. This is like, um, if you just say, 쓸수 있어요, 쓸수 있어요, it's like, I can do it. 음악을 쓸줄 알아요, I know how to do it. That's the difference. 돈을 벌고 싶죠? 무슨 일을 할줄 알아요? You want to make money, don't you? What kind of work can you do? Okay, do, what kind of work uh, do you know how to do? 어떤 언어를 할줄 알아요? What kind of language are you able to speak? 배가 고프죠. You're hungry, right? 무슨 음식을 만들 줄 알아요? What kind of dish um, do you know how to make? 무슨 악기를 할줄 몰라요. <laughs> Not 알아요, but 몰라요. Which instrument do you, uh, you don't know how to play? 무슨 운동을 할줄 몰라요? What kind of sport are you uh, not able to uh, do or, or play? 무슨 게임을 할줄 몰라요? What is um, a game you don't know how to play? Mahjong, dominoes, a lot of card games. Chess 할줄 알아요? 몰라요. Do you know how to uh, play chess or you don't know how to play chess? You can ask. 
That's it for lesson four of Korean three.